If you get caught between the moon and New York City, the best that you can do is stay away from the maniac cop because he'll get you. Maniac Cop stars Bruce Campbell, Tom Atkins, and is directed by William Lustig. What's up guys, huge shout out time to my good friend Stephen Arthur, who hooked me up with this movie, Maniac Cop, among so many others. He, he really went all out, and I really appreciate having you as a friend, Stephen. Can't say enough about you as a person. But we're gonna review that movie right there, Maniac Cop. This is the first time I've ever seen this. I've never seen the second, never seen the third. I've heard the second one. It's even better than the first. So I'm looking forward to going through the whole trilogy with you guys. Also, I have to give a huge shout out, since we're talking about a movie about police officers, to Michael Mims. He's been a member of Killer Flicks for quite a while now. Really good friend, and he happens to be a police officer. Uh, I believe he works in New York, uh, which is where this movie is located, or supposed to be located. But uh, he's just one of the funniest members and a hell of a cook. Hell of a cook. So if we ever have like a big Killer Flicks gathering, Michael, you will be the cook and the security guard. And he actually did send me a t-shirt too. Michael, I have to apologize. I have looked for that t-shirt all over because we, uh, right when he sent it to me, we were in the middle of this whole move. So it's somewhere in this house. But I wanted to give you this shout out. And when I find the shirt, I'll, I'll wear it in a review. But Maniac Cop is a really interesting premise and it touches on a hot button topic when it comes with cops and you know their safety. And if a cop is a good cop and he puts tons of criminals behind bars and then he ends up going to jail himself, uh, if he ends up in jail with these criminals that he put behind bars, what is gonna be the outcome of that? And that is the story here. Cordell is the cop in this movie that becomes the maniac cop, the killer. But he was a really good decorated cop. Then the system screwed him over sent him to jail and then he was jumped and mutilated and supposedly killed you know he was within an inch of his death and then he was brought back to life because he was still his heart was still beating and so then he goes on this rampage killing not just bad guys but freaking everybody if you're in his way you're dead because he's not all there upstairs either he was beaten so bad um and cordell is just a really interesting character That'll be my first pro here. Robert Zadar, who played the Maniac Cop, I couldn't think of a better guy to play just, you know, a really imposing and just physically demanding a character. He is a big guy and has a jawline like I've never seen before. Maybe Richard Keel has a similar jawline. They should have those two guys, their jaws should just fight each other and whose jaw would win because they have these massive jaws. But in the in the beginning of the movie, nobody knows who the actual killer is. And Tom Atkins plays Frank McRae. He is a detective and he's on the case. And right away he thinks this is a cop just by the way the kills happen. Uh, you know, everything seems really calculated. And what's interesting about this story is that, you know, in New York City, there are thousands of cops. So it could be anybody. And the first suspect is Jack Force, played by the great, the legendary Bruce Campbell. I didn't even know Bruce Campbell was in this movie. Didn't really know that Tom Atkins was in this movie. So when I saw that cover and those two names on the top, I was like, how could I have missed this movie? But Bruce Campbell is, he's Bruce Campbell. He's freaking great. He just has this way of delivering his lines that's a little bit different than every other actor. You know, he, he draws you right in. He almost has kind of a comedic delivery no matter what line he's given. I think that's why he is Ash. Nobody could play Ash like Bruce Campbell. But Bruce Campbell's great in this. But he is cheating on his girlfriend and then his girlfriend ends up dead, killed by the maniac cop, and so the prime suspect is Bruce Campbell. Now one thing I love about this movie is the atmosphere, especially that first half. New York City in the 80s at night is a scary, scary place. And really New York feels like a character in the movie. When you walk down the streets in New York City in the 80s, you are not safe. You better get behind closed doors because it's gonna be your ass. And this movie doesn't waste time with the kills either. Right away, the maniac cop is doing his thing. And he's got this baton that uh, turns into a, this huge knife. And that's what he uses to kill his victims. So I like a slasher movie where the villain has like his own signature weapon and maniac cop does that. Now the third act in this movie gets pretty damn crazy. Especially that last scene where you got this like security truck and it goes over the uh, the dock into the water. If you look at that scene, 
It's supposed to be Bruce Campbell's character, but you can tell that it's a stunt guy, and that stunt guy earned the hell out of his money that day because that scene is freaking jaw dropping. And it looks like the stunt guy could have really gotten hurt. Now, as far as any cons for Maniac Cop, um, the acting is probably the biggest thing, but you know, a lot of those low budget 80s movies, like say, you know, some of the Friday the 13th movies, there's gonna be bad acting in there, but we, we give that a pass, you know, us horror fans. We don't really care about that stuff as long as it doesn't get in the way of the movie, the flow of the movie. I mean, your standouts here are definitely Tom Atkins and Bruce Campbell. These are your actors. Everything else behind them, not so much. Also, I love the first half, at least the atmosphere of the first half of this movie, better than the second half. Because the second half, it, it, it turned more into um, a crime drama instead of a horror movie. Whereas the first half really feels like a horror movie. It feels like a slasher stalking victims. And if you're in the mood for, you know, a crime drama, that's fine. But, you know, I wanted it to be like a straight up horror movie all the way through. But, I mean, I'm just really grasping at straws. Maniac Cop is a really fun movie. William Lustig, who also directed Maniac, which is interesting. I guess he's got a thing for Maniac in his titles. Uh, did a you know a pretty capable job of this. You can tell that uh, there were some blood, sweat, and tears behind this, and Sam Raimi actually has a cameo in this too. So I'm definitely gonna give the first Maniac Cop a high humdrum. It, it was a fun movie. If you're a fan of those like slasher movies and you're always looking for different slasher premises, then this is the one to go with. Uh, you would definitely wanna pick this one up. But if you're just like a casual horror movie fan, um, I'd probably give it a rent first. But I'm definitely looking forward to Maniac Cop 2. Because I've heard really good things about that one. So anyway, guys, what are your thoughts on Maniac Cop? Let me know in the comments. Had a lot of fun with this one. Also, come over to Killer Flex where we talk horror all day and every day. On Fridays, we do free for all Fridays. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Follow me at Drum Dums on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and Drum Dumb out.